Today in Oakland, students, labor leaders, teachers, and city workers observed a general strike. The action sent many into the streets, where last week police forcibly removed protesters from an encampment near City Hall. We turn to reporter Brian Edwards Teekert, who is in downtown Oakland and has been following the day's events. Brian, tell us where you are right now. Dorian, I'm at uh, 15th and Broadway in downtown Oakland. Just a week ago, this was the scene of repeated skirmishes between protesters and police when they faced off across metal barricades, and police repeatedly tear grassed a largely peaceful crowd of demonstrators. The scene could not be more different today. There's 2,000 people marching north on Broadway. They're intending to take some kind of action against a corporate bank branch. They haven't announced what. They've just capped off a festive hour-long rally in the streets. That's the first of several convergences today. There's a giant flash mob that did a dance routine to the song We Will Survive. Uh, The lyrics have been rewritten to We Will Survive Capitalism. And now the crowd is marching north on Broadway probably to a Wells Fargo branch that they will attempt to shutter for the day. They've got a brass band out with them in the street and just minutes ago the crowd got an announcement that the Port of Oakland has been shut down by longshore workers, oh, though it's not clear what mechanism in their contract they're using to do that. The protesters themselves had not planned to march on the port until 5 o'clock this evening. And Brian, tell us what other events are planned for later today. Well, you know, it, it's not clear because of the decentralized nature of the movement. There's a general call for people to take autonomous action. So unions, nonprofits, Small collectives have all organized their own forms of protest that are coming together. No one has their finger on exactly what's going to happen when. There are three main convergence points at 12 o'clock on a lunch break for workers who can't get away from their jobs at 5 o'clock after business hours end. And the march that I'm in right now, uh, these will be launching points for some of the main actions targeting banks in downtown Oakland. But we, we really don't know what's going to happen on the streets here today. What I can tell you is that right now there's absolutely no police presence in sight. I have not seen a single police officer this morning. It seems to be a complete 180-degree turnaround from the city of Oakland. Uh, And if that's the case, the protesters may be able to get very far with their plans today. And, of course, you mentioned uh, the difference from last week. There were two uh, violent crackdowns on protesters there, one that fractured the skull of U.S. Marine veteran Scott Olson. You mentioned the police presence in absence there, and I can hear the noise behind you. What is the um, sense of the mood of the area right now? You know, it's both militant and festive. Half a block away from me, there is a brass band that's marching in the crowd. And the people at the front of the crowd here are carrying a giant general strike banner, pumping their fists in the air as they march down the street. And again, they very seriously seem to intend to try to shut down at least a couple of banks in downtown Oakland today. That's reporter Brian Edwards Teekert in downtown Oakland. Brian, thank you. Thank you, Dorian.